Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Old Iron Garage, and thank you for tuning in. I apologize if the camera's moving a little bit. It's a little bit breezy out here, but that's actually kind of nice because the sun is feeling pretty warm. And am I looking a little bit washed out on camera? I apologize. The sun is up there, so uh, might not be the greatest uh, quality footage today, um, but uh, that is really moving. But um, it's what I have to work with given the time of day and where the sun is. Um, as this is my power washing area in the driveway and well, my, my property ends right on the other side of the driveway so I can only film from this side. Uh, anyways, moving on, I decided to go ahead and make a second part to the power washing video um, so I can finish up on video. I did get my uh, my sprayer working again last night after ending that video and cleaning up from power washing out here. Uh, I did get the sprayer working. So uh, I can continue degreasing and power washing the tractor. Now, um, and the, the mower deck. I took a look at uh, the engine after it drip dried last night. I hauled it into the garage with a, with a two wheeled cart. I took a look at it and that thing is as clean as a whistle so there's no need to power wash that thing again. But uh, I, will, uh, I will show you guys, I will take you in the garage later and show you uh, how it came out. It came out very nice. So um, there might be little spots here and there that I miss but I mean it's going to get dirty and greasy again so it's plenty good enough. Uh, but anyways, I already sprayed one coat of degreaser. I'm going to just lightly spray another coat and get started. I'm only spraying the more greasy areas, the areas that really need more degreaser on them, because I've already kind of sprayed everything once. And uh, a couple things, or well, one thing to note, you probably can't see it from back there, but the hydraulic fluid filter is painted green, just like the rest of the chassis. That leads me to believe that that filter has never been changed. But um, good news is I have a few here in stock, brand new filter, so that will be getting serviced. Um, also, I forgot to mention, but I'm sure you've already noticed, I have the tractor standing up on end. Much easier to do once you have everything off the front of the frame, engine and all. And uh, that makes it a lot easier for accessing the bottom of the tractor for power washing. Or if you've got a big job working on it and you've got the engine off anyways, just carefully stand it up on end. I've got block, blocks behind the wheel, and I've got a board uh, holding it up so it does not fall onto my Jeep. Oh, uh, actually, I think I got about enough of this on there. I'm gonna start power washing. I'll set this over here for when I get to the mower deck. Still in the line. 
a complete shower here. Because of the breeze.
such a shower. My safety glasses are all wet. That's okay. tricky to get to. With the drive shaft and cooling fan in the way, but I'm going to do the best I can do. I took the little sprayer nozzle off, put it directly on the gun, and that did the trick. I was without this extension in there, I was able to get down in there, and I just saw debris flying out. I've got this really good. I'm going to hit the rear end again.
have I mentioned I like my tractors nice and clean? <laughs> Some of you might think I'm being a little obsessive or uh, doing too much. Spending too much time on it, but I really take pride in my tractors. So I try to do the best I can cleaning them up and fixing them up. Outside of the wheels and tires, that is, it's totally awesome. Really does a number on cleaning up old tires. It takes that kind of brownish color off of them. These rear wheels look like they'll clean up okay. Speaking of which, guys. I have something in the garage that I've had sitting around for, oh, maybe four, four to five years, I would say. It's a dress-up part for Boland's tractors. It's an OEM Boland's part. It'll fit other tractors. But, and I'm not going to say what it is at this time. I will show you. They're not in perfect condition, but they're in just fine condition for a working tractor. Not so much a show tractor, and that's what this is going to be. So, I'm going to see if those will fit this tractor. I believe they will. I will show you guys that at the end of this video. They need a little work, but uh, I think they'll make a nice addition to this tractor. Guys, it would appear that I uh, it would appear that I blew a breaker. So um, man, this this uh, Q17 power washing video is not going so great. I may have to make a series just on power washing all of it. So I'm gonna cut the video here and. Uh, 
pick up and make, I guess, I guess I'm going to make a part three. This is the longest it's ever taken me to power wash any Bolins, but I guess I am taking a little more pride in this one and fixing, uh, cleaning it up just as clean as I can get it because it, it really is a nice machine. So uh, this thing's got many uh, good years left in it, I believe, and uh, it's gonna, I'm going to give it a nice easy life cutting my grass. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.